For today's video blog, we're in Anaheim, California at Eat Street, and standing next to me is Kate. She's a chef, and she offers a service here that's more than just learning how to cook. She uh, educates you on the food, techniques, and she's been kind enough to work with us today. We're going to be filming four cooking segments here that you'll be watching next month on our TV show on, in Los Angeles on KDOC and on PBS on Sundays and around the country. And Kate and her husband like to go fishing too as an added yep. bonus. So right now what she's going to do for us is a little demonstration. And I know this doesn't sound like a fishing show thing, but it's very important to learn. It's very important. How to, how to cut an onion. In every single class, unless it's baking and pastry or bread, mm -hmm. I have to make sure everyone knows how to cut an onion the right way. Right. So what you're going to do is take your onion, cut off one side, flip it over, cut off the other side, and then common mistake is people cut it right here. You're actually going to go right down the middle and deal with one half at a time. Scoot off all this. You're going to peel off the skins just like this. Then you're looking at your onion and one side looks like a rainbow. The other side has more of a core, like an apple core that holds it together. So in this situation, the core's right here and the more spread out, are you with me? Rainbow core. Mm -hmm. Okay, core goes directly away from you. And then when you're cutting, let's say you need a quarter inch dice. You either need quarter, half, three, fourths inch dice. Let's go with a quarter. You're gonna go against your first knuckle, down but not all the way through. You're counting on your core to hold everything together. So down, quarter inch, down, 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 and down. The only turn you have to do is right now, you're gonna go 90 degrees to your, assuming you're right-handed. You're gonna get sideways on it. This is a scary part because you have to anchor it and you're cutting towards your hands. Def definitely make sure you're anchoring it. You're gonna go a quarter inch in, but not through. That same core is holding it together. Then quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch. You don't need to turn it again. This is where it all falls apart just right. You're gonna go down quarter inch, down, 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 and it falls apart beautifully. If you are making a chicken stock or something like that, you can use this part, but in general, you're only gonna use the beautiful part that falls apart just like this. So when you start with a dice that's a quarter inch all the way around, it ends up the same way and it looks perfectly at the end. And you taught me that last time that yes. if you go to a restaurant, and in your meal you have onions and the onions are all 50,000 different sizes. Right. If there are 50,000 different sizes, it's that a means... sign of somebody who didn't really know what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, they weren't educated in the kitchen. <laughs> Correct. That's pretty cool. Well, that's uh, very helpful information. Thank you very much, Thanks, Kate. Dan. So we're going to get back to uh, cooking some more fish segments for you, cooking segments, and you'll be able to watch them, like I said, really soon on our TV show right here on Sport Fishing. For more information about Kate's service here in Anaheim, how can they find you? www.eatstreetculinary, all spelled out. Don't abbreviate, abbreviate street. Go eatstreetculinary.com. All my classes are listed there. Cool. Well, let's get back to cooking here. And uh, for more information about the TV show, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I have Instagram now, too. And don't forget to watch the show this weekend. And you must have a Facebook page, too, right? Yeah. Eat Street Culinary. All right, cool. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.